Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So here are the Raiders now to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nice look up throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Car now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Throwing again on second down. Carr. That's into a crowd and intercepted. It's Devin Lloyd with a pick. And the Jags are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football up and drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their mind. But it's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now Lawrence. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. On the counter, this is Robinson. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Back to Robinson now on first down. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Robinson with another carry. And he gets it down to the 32. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Be knocked away. It's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Lawrence. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but you know that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. On third down, Lawrence. Jones has it. 
And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's Lawrence. Escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. Here's Lawrence to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The kick by Pinheiro is good, and they have regained the lead. Whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime, get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So out come the Raiders. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. But something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 55 rushing yards, rushing on 12 carries for him now. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. now on first down and the Jags get to him as down he goes for the Sade Aluikin charging hard from that linebacker spot and he drops him for a loss of 11 okay I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there nowhere to go outside he had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up eventually dropped for a huge loss Another try after the first down sack. Carr, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back. Because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity. Because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Carr going to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away and runs out third down. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they have the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you evolved. Yeah. You know, you've learned how to play it the Madden way. 
It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Jaguars to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 30 on second down, Lawrence. And a catch made by his tight end, Luke Farrell. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's the option going right. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Lawrence will throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Looking downfield for Jones. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? To throw on second and 10, Carr. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Throwing his car on third down. Looking deep for Adams. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Around the NFL, third quarter at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Chargers have scored again, so they are really opening it up. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And that's a nice pickup of the first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gain, they can run that play up any down. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Chandler Jones coming in from that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now Lawrence on the slant. He'll get it to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. That was a nice run slam route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. 
Able to complete this to Chennault. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That friend, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And a dump off here to Robinson. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 23. On third down, Robinson. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. I love those plays, fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time, the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That's complete, right around the eight. And the Jags are gonna have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Marvin Jones, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars will add to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive, and now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. So that would have been an 11 play drive, and it culminates in a chance touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Takes it at the seventh. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. On first down, Carr. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To throw, it's Carr. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
Well, part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition pick six from earlier in this game? And there's a quick momentum swing. And he returns for a pick six, and then the two-point conversion goal. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden, you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in, trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. This will be fielded inside the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 24. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. He's got Renfro on the out route. From the 25 on second down, Carr. Back to Renfro again, complete. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to lead to a third down. Now Carr. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw his car. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Throwing on first down is Carr. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Again, they'll throw with Carr. The open man here, Renfro. And they'll work this down inside the 30. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. And he completed seven straight passes before that one. As it falls incomplete. And puts a halt to that streak. Carr. Keeps himself upright. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Trayvon Walker in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. So a great play there for this highly regarded linebacker making his first career sack. And his versatility on display right there. Look, we've known him primarily as a tackler and a cover man, but he can go get the quarterback when the situation calls for it, as he just did right there. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 
79 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay back. Not in any rush offensively. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the other expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So for the Jaguars, the win will move them to seven and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, the loss will drop them to six and two now on the year. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. Thank mm -hmm. you. 